All right, hey guys. So it's Jenny and Tyler here, and the first video we want to film very casual is about crate training tips. A lot of you guys actually ask us about this because you see Copper and Lily really like their crate, and that was not immediate. So we're gonna tell you guys how we crate trained the dogs. And here we go. So it's really important to crate train your dog because the crate is where you can guarantee that they're safe. They can't destroy your house while they're in their crate. So um, I know some people will look at the crate as kind of like a cruel thing, but it really is not. And the dogs actually love their crate. We will find them in their crate when we don't know where they are. Sometimes they're just chilling in their crates. So let's show you guys what their crates look like. Okay, so this is Copper and Lily's crates. We have a bigger one for Copper and a smaller one for Lily, but this is actually the size that we started both dogs in. It is a 30 inch crate. What you wanna make sure is that the crate is not too big and not too small. Um, you want the dog to be able to move around, but you don't want it to be so big, especially when they're a puppy, that they can sleep in one corner and then pee and poop in the other. They will generally not pee and poop in the same space that they sleep in, but if they can do it in a corner and escape to the other side, then they probably will. So we found 30 inches to be a good size. All right, Copper's trying to go in his crate. Um, but we found 30 inches to be a good size, and then once Copper got a little bigger, we upgraded him to the 36 inch crate, which he uh, it's a good size for him. He can go in and completely sprawl out and we don't have to worry about him peeing or pooping in there because he's completely potty trained. The next thing is the crate setup. So when we first brought Copper home, actually we just had the crate and the bolster, which is the white Sherpa lining right there, um, which you can take it or leave it, especially when they're puppies because they might pee or poop or throw up on it, in which case you just wash it or eventually you can replace it. Um, but when we first brought Copper home, we put him in his crate when we were going to bed, and you can see that um, this crate is actually located in our room. That's another thing is the location of the crate, especially when they're puppies, they are gonna be missing their litter, they're gonna be missing their mom, so if they can see you from their crate, they are much less likely to just howl the entire night. When we first brought Copper home, we put him in his crate, he could see us. It did not have the covering on it, it didn't have um, much of a setup on the inside, but he started crying immediately when we put him in the crate and he um, was really not happy. So we got kind of desperate and what I did is I draped a towel over the outside of it and I took the blanket, it's actually this blanket, this one's coppers and it smelled like his litter first of all the breeder made sure that the blanket that he got sent home with smelled like his litter and I rolled it up really tightly and I put it in the crate so it kind of resembled like a pile of puppies that he could kind of lay on um, I also took his stuffed bear this is not the exact one put it in there that also smelled like his litter and pretty quickly he actually calmed down I think it was, it kind of felt like a cave to him and then um, with the smell of his litter and feeling kind of secure, he eventually fell asleep and it took a little bit of time, but eventually he learned to like his crate. What we like to do is we also give the dogs treats when they go into their crates. Um, that way they learn that it's a, it's a good place Good things happen when they go in their crates. So we'll show you guys. Let's go to bed, Copper. Go. See, he goes straight in his crate. He gets really excited and he gets a treat. And he learns good things happen when you're in a crate, right, Copper? All right, so Lily is now gonna go into her crate where she can get the treat that I left for her in there. And she knows she's not quite as enthusiastic as Copper, but she doesn't mind it. She gets happy that she gets a treat. You can see Copper already settled down in his crate. He loves it in there. You can see Lily also has blankets in there and she really likes to lay on them almost like it's a, like a 
the arm of a sofa. You just have to be consistent. Dogs do not naturally like their crate. You just have to make it an inviting environment and they will learn to love it. And they will sleep in there all night until we get them out in the morning. Uh, Lily is our second dog. I'll talk about the experience with her. It was kind of similar. I think when we put her in at first, she was not super happy. We had already ordered these crate covers, which I'll link down below. They're from Amazon and they're really great. We had already bought all that. And so Lily, her first nights in her crate, it was already cave-like. We knew what to do. She could see Copper, she could see us. So she was pretty chill. One other thing about potty training is when you crate train them, it makes potty training easier because um, when they're in their crates, like I said, they're probably not going to go to the bathroom in there because it's just not um, pleasant for a dog to eliminate in the same area that they sleep in. So um, sometimes as puppies, we would have to take them out in the middle of the night. And if the dog needs to go out in the middle of the night, take them out. Don't make a big deal out of it. Don't talk to them. Don't play with them. Take them straight outside let them pee or poop, bring them right back in, put them in their crate, give them a treat, don't say anything, and ignore them. Because if, if you make it a big ordeal, they think it's playtime, and they're less likely to settle back down. They say the rule of thumb is that dogs can hold their bladder about, I think it's one hour more than the number of months old they are. So when we brought Copper and Lily home, they were two months old. So technically, they should have been able to hold their bladder for three hours, which seems like nothing. And that's three hours when they're not up and drinking and everything. So three hours in the middle of the night while they're sleeping. But we actually found that Copper and Lily could hold it for six hours or more. Um, what we do is we just cut water off before bed. We try not to let them drink too much water after, I don't know, nine or so and we go to bed around 11. So a couple hours before bed, we try not to give them too much water. Of course, if they are really active and panting, then we'll definitely let them have some water, but that helps them to sleep through the night and it makes it easier on all of us. I don't think we had any rough nights with the dogs. Um, another benefit of crate training is sometimes we will let Copper sleep in our bed, especially before we had Lily. Um, but sometimes we would wake up to the sound of him throwing up. So if they're in their crates and they throw up, it is much easier to clean up than if they're in your bed and they throw up. So that's another benefit of crate training. Get your dog familiar with their crate during the day so you don't save it for the night that you're trying to get them to go to sleep and freaking out because you need to get to sleep before work or something. So. Um, I had the doors open and I let him kind of just walk around in it, gave him treats in it, tried to get him familiar with it, which at night he still wasn't super excited to go in his crate, but I'm sure it helped. Um, some things that other people will do is they'll feed meals in the crate to really make it a place where good things happen. Um, and you should never, ever, ever use the crate as a punishment so if the dog is acting up don't get mad at the dog and force it in its crate you want to sure if the dog is annoying you the dog's you know acting crazy what we learned is you should smile you know grit your teeth say in a very sarcastic voice okay we're going to bed put the dog in its crate smile sure give him a treat and walk away and then you have the dog in a controlled environment you can walk away and you can both have some time apart to decompress all right guys so i hope that this very informal video is helpful i think it's easier if you can just kind of hear my thoughts rather than me having to type everything out on instagram all right guys so thank you so much for watching we really appreciate it um, so what we will do is continue to make videos like this, just short videos of different tips on 
uh, puppies and how to raise dogs. I know we are not experts, but we're just speaking from our experience and things we have learned along the way. And we would love it if you would like and subscribe to this video. Uh, leave comments down below of any questions that you have. And we will talk to you guys soon. Say bye, Copper. Bye, Lily. We will also say that for every like this video gets, we will give Copper and Lily one treat. So help them out. They would love it.